Hey everybody, it's a kinda gray and cloudy Tuesday morning. Let's talk about the news. First up today, no big surprise, Jeremy Irons has been confirmed to be reprising his role of Alfred Pennyworth in the Justice League movie. DC and Warner Brothers have released the first trailer for their Killing Joke animated movie, starring Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy, which looks to be fantastic. I'll put a link there for you to check it out. The first set photos of Finn Jones as Danny Rand, aka the immortal Iron Fist, have surfaced online, and it shows him practicing some of his kung fu moves in what looks to be ninja pajamas. Very excited to see what they do. I trust Netflix and Marvel. They came, they saw, they kicked its ass, and they're gonna do it again. June 8th, the original Ghostbusters is going to be coming back into theaters. For maybe those who haven't gotten to see it, or fans of the original movie, or fans of good movies in general, this comes on the 32nd anniversary of the release of the original movie, and just one month before Paul Feig's new Ghostbusters reboot. It'll also include sneak previews for the new Ghostbusters, I guess to try to put some goodwill towards that movie by using the original. Ben Affleck and Jeff Johns are reportedly co-writing the solo Batman movie together, and reportedly they will have full creative control, which is unheard of with these comic book movies. In unfortunate DC news, the writer of Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, Seth Graham Smith, has dropped out of directing the Flash movie, citing creative differences. And we've heard this before, the original director of the Wonder Woman movie, Michelle McLaren, dropped out due to unspecified creative differences. And there were rumors going around that James Wan was also going to abandon ship from his directing duties on the Aquaman movie, but he has denied these rumors. The 14-part novel series, The Wheel of Time, by James Oliver Rigney Jr. under the pen name of Robert Jordan, is finally being made into a TV show. The series borrows heavily from European and Asian religions, including Hinduism, Buddhism, and it has strong similarities to the Christian version of creation. I'm just learning about this series from the news that it's being made into a TV show, and I'm excited for it. It sounds like it's going to be really interesting. I can't wait to see what they do with it. Will Ferrell has dropped out of the upcoming comedy movie Reagan, where he was going to play a declining in health Ronald Reagan, suffering with Alzheimer's. I suppose, fearing the backlash from his fans, he dropped out of the movie. The Las Vegas metal band Five Finger Death Punch is being sued by their record label because they're saying that they're producing music too quickly to try to avoid what could possibly end as a train wreck with their frontman Ivan Moody's rampant alcoholism and crazy lifestyle. They're thinking he's going to either die or do something stupid that is going to devalue their entire musical catalog and supposedly they're trying to get a lot in under the wire. A lot of these songs that they've been putting out are not the quality of their normal releases. In other Marvel Netflix related news, officially, the character of the Punisher will move from the Daredevil show to his own standalone show. Marvel has released a teaser for it. Go check it out. I am really excited to see what he will do in his own solo adventures. Rumor of the week. The Batman solo film, helmed by Ben Affleck himself, written by Affleck and Jeff Johns, will not, as previously thought, be based on the Under the Red Hood storyline, and will feature multiple villains. This is a rich, fully established world that we've been introduced to here. I'm saying that likely it'll be Arkham Asylum, Blackgate prison inmates that we see, but there's going to be a lot of villains. No way they're going to factor an army of villains into the main story and try to work that out into a cohesive narrative. I think we're going to get cameos from some big hitters that maybe we've never seen in a movie before, or maybe we've never seen right in a movie before. Give me Freeze. Give me Victor Freeze on that movie. I'll be happy. Well, that's all for News Day. Hope you all liked the video. Please like and subscribe for more news videos every single week and more entertaining videos of all kinds throughout the entire week. This is Justin for Our Vision Productions News Day, signing out.